Hello, welcome to episode 126 of the Epic Film Challenge 2, 1001 Movies You Must See Before You Die, 1988's Ariel, uh, or as the characters in the film would say it, uh, Ariel. Uh, and th this is directed by a guy called Aki Karismaki. That's going to be a complete butchering. I, I mean, there's so many ways you could pronounce it looking at it on paper. But uh, this is an interesting Finnish film, um, which I'd never heard of. Uh, and kind of just on a whim watched it and had no idea what to make of it. Uh, <laughs> this is a very offbeat movie. It's about this guy who's a miner and uh, as in he, he goes into the mines and you know he's not like a younger than 16. He's a miner and uh, his dad is a miner too. At the beginning of the movie he kills himself in a very matter-of-fact way and his son reacts to it in a very matter-of-fact way like well there you go he killed himself. And his dad says to him, you know, you need to get out of this mining town, you need to do something with your life. Seriously, I'll leave you the car, um, but, but don't do what I'm doing, you know, don't kill yourself. So that happens, and we got this character who uh, drives off from the country in, in Finland somewhere, and goes to a city, and tries to make something of himself. Uh, and he gets absolutely hammered with all these things that are keeping him down, his money gets stolen, you know just the the place that he tries to get a job at you know ends up going out of business like all these things just keep piling on top of him he meets a girl you know and what I, what I found really interesting about this film was that um, this character he goes through so many different uh, uh, kind of situations that normal people would find very dramatic um, and it's treated with such a deadpan kind of matter-of-factism you know again his father kills himself he looks down that's that, you know. Uh, he meets a girl, and it's kind of like, well, I guess I'll move in then. Yeah, okay, you know. Um, you know, do you want to get married? Yeah, yeah. It's just everything is played completely. Just it's, it's just like this lack of this apathy, you know. Uh, not lack of, but I was going to say lack of empathy. But there's just this apathetic feeling to it, uh, and and I guess it's meant to be this this real black humor to it. Um, well, not even black, but just kind of um, offbeat, offbeat humor. It's not black humor. It kind of is at times, but it's just uh, it's an interesting tone to this film. And ultimately, I feel like it was interesting, but not captivating. If that makes sense. Like I liked how the tone was different, but it, I didn't root for the characters as much as I would have liked. Uh, and and then so so it, you, you have these big situations, you know. And he he goes through a lot of things in this film, and it's a very short film, but and and the, there's an accelerated sense of time as well. Like these things will keep happening, these big things, and they'll keep moving on, and something else big will happen, and there's not much time to kind of reflect on them, I suppose. Uh, and again, it's all very matter of fact and, and and offbeat, and I could see people loving this because it's so different, and uh, and it's a good story. You got you know there's good performances and. Uh, you know, it was enjoyable, you know, uh, the direction was good, there was, you know, there was just nothing stand out about it, you know, there was nothing about it to me that screamed like, well, I, I suppose there, there is, there's one thing, and that's the tone, that's what, you know, and it was funny, I, I did chuckle a few times, you know, uh, he meets this girl, and she's got a young son, and they go out for kind of a, a day trip together, and they're lying on the beach, and then you cut, and they're just lying on pebbles next to this, you know, this kind of uh, harbour, you know, so it's like, it's the kind of picturesque kind of family day out on the beach, and then you see the reality of the situation, uh, and that they can't afford anything else, and, uh, you know, I enjoyed the characters, there's a character that he meets when he goes to prison, he gets arrested in the film, and again, you know, he's arrested, and it's all very, you know, okay, going to prison, all right, you know, uh, and he, his cellmate was really funny. I liked his cellmate, um, and it's the only character, character name in the film that I could remember because they say it so often. Mikonen. Uh, Mikonen was a really fun character who um, who I enjoyed right from the beginning, and apparently he worked with this director a lot. Um, and you know, I found him him to be the most interesting character in the film, really, and the most uh, entertaining to watch on screen. Though the main actor was very good, he shouldered the entire film, and I enjoyed his performance. Um, and I was wondering the whole time, where's Ariel going to come into it? Ariel. Uh, and it came in right towards the end, and it's almost a bit of a joke, really. But um, overall, it's a, you know, it's a good story, uh, and it's different. It's it's kind of has its own kind of uh, tone to it. But ultimately, like I said, it was it was amusing, but not funny. And it was interesting, but not captivating. But I would recommend it, you know. Is it Flume see Before You Die? For me, it's a no. Uh, but it's not a definite no. I, I would recommend you check it out. I mean, it's only like an hour and ten minutes long, and it's different. And you might like this brand of different, and you might enjoy the works of this director because they're different, uh, and that can open you up to a whole new kind of um, 
line of movies that you'd love. I certainly am interested in seeing more from the director, absolutely. But, but you know, initially it was very enjoyable, just, just a very good film. And that's all there really is to say about it. It wasn't great. Nothing about it veered over uh, to being great for me. Um, so it isn't a film to see before you die. But I'm still glad that I watched it. Um, and if you have seen it, um, please let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for watching.